Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday after the Tuesday CPI. Sort of a range bound, range bound movement after CPI, with the exception of Bitcoin here. So that's we're going to pull up this chart here and look at see what happened. Uh, we talked about. 25,300 being important. Uh, if we drilled down on this in the hourlies, it was really more like the break was 24,950. Um, so it was it was tricky. Uh, it looks very straightforward, but if you if you were to take the 30 minute, you'll see it's tricky, right? Um, we moved up. Anyway, we moved up to to 25.5, back down to 2,500. It was very, very hectic um, during CPI, but then finally broke. Traded all the way up to 26.5, looked like a very clean break, but then you go back to the dailies. Um, now we have this big wick, and it's sort of unclear where this is going to go. If you bought at 25.3 and you put your stop at break even, which many are prone to do, or even if you put your stop at 25 thousand you've been stopped um, looks like to me we're going to be sideways here and this thing hasn't made a decision yet maybe pp maybe ppi will also help drive it today but um, we're looking for the clear break and the close above 25.3 did not get it so we'll have to see what happens ethereum much less volatile but still the same kind of bar it's fucking annoying to know that we own the phone this shit down on down below 1430 um, on uh, Saturday say la vie. Uh, so I don't know is crypto turning I don't think it's turning I still think this is um, a very good environment for crypto um, the rate decision has been sort of made by the market there's a million reasons why we can't have rates at 5%, 6%. The most important one, I guess, is the $31 trillion in debt that we carry. When I say we, we're talking about the United States of America. Um, so lower rates is good for crypto, and also banking crisis is good for crypto. Let's look at dollar-yen. Bit of a nothing burger, dick in a box, uh, up to 90 yesterday. We had a 90 offer that did not get done. Um, there's a stack of offers up there. Uh, when we saw it trade a bunch of times and we still didn't get done, we kind of, this is a telltale sign that there's people waiting to sell. Um, we did hit the bid, but just fucked around with it. Um, We like selling this. We are leaving room for a move back up to 135.50. Um, could happen today. PPI. We get more conviction if now if we get back below 134. Uh, the figure. Swiss yen. We talked about selling up at 50 yesterday. We got to. It says 51, but we had 50 offers. It did not did not get done. Um, very very annoying uh, today same type of deal if we get back up to 50 we'll probably be some stops above that so maybe you save your save your your cells for maybe 147 80 the reason we want to be short Swiss yen especially going into the end of the week is we still think there's going to be a big problem with Credit Suisse and we're just trying to front run that possible news scenario with short Swiss yen Euro Swiss we got given yesterday uh, in the 55 region. We just jumped out of it around 90, bought it after the fix, 93, sold 03s. We're now square again. This looks like it's turned. This was this move here was like every bank in the world is going to zero, and now we're coming back into what I would say is just normal reality range trading for Euro Swiss will be offers at 9850 today um, but you can pick up Euro Swiss uh, on the bid and again if Credit Swiss has a problem um, this will not be good for a Swiss francs uh, 
and many of my friends here are like Ryan Credit Suisse doesn't even have any assets anymore you know obviously systemic more systemic would be UBS or Julius Baer uh, Big Day some of these other huge uh, Swiss banks but for me it's also like the jobs you know uh, the jobs that will be lost if this thing has to merge or nationalize or whatever um, just very bad for for Switzerland in general uh, not to mention just the psychological damage of that kind of Swiss symbol um, taking a dirt nap not saying it's happening but I'm just forward looking and we all see the CDS we all see the stock price uh, it is fairly hysterical and maybe someone from Saudi Arabia is going to come in and save the day who knows uh, but something to keep in mind frontal lobe let's go to gold um, we talked about buying this down at 1890 uh, yesterday obviously didn't get given down there anywhere between 90 and 70 you can you can acquire some gold I think this just like crypto this is a good environment to own gold we're just trying to get it uh, a little cheap cheaper uh, than it is right now we certainly are wary of a hundred dollar move from 1811 to 1911 in three days um, should be some consolidation here euro we like it higher um, We get above 50. Oh, we did. When was that? 3 a.m. I was going to say uh, 107.50 is important. Uh, looks like 59 traded. Uh, I still think there's a chance that we fill this gap, right? We got down to 106.50. The glow was 42. Um, so this is your accumulation, let's just say. But somewhere between 107 and 106.50, you can accumulate. There's really not much to do here at 107.33 if you're just entering into a new position. you got to sit tight. Uh, and this is the theme for the morning. Like There's really nothing jumping out at us that we have to get into. Um, looks like there's going to be a squeeze in dollar-yen here at the open. What time is it now in London? Oh, fuck, it's already 7.15 in London. Maybe that was the dollar-yen squeeze up to this point here, 83. Um... We're square uh, is the point, and we're waiting. May actually take a little bike ride this morning. Um, not much jumping out at us. Uh, we'll be watching this Swiss yen, see how that comes together. Um, otherwise, it's just a waiting game. Oh, yeah, crude. Um, 70, 70. We bought some crude yesterday, as you could see, um, you know, on Twitter, we talked about it. We're just trading this now. Um, didn't quite get paid at 72.90. Um, but we'll be trading this, looking for crude to test the $70 range and probably go through it on a hysterical one. Um, but we do think 70 is going to hold on a weekly basis. And but we're long now. Got to be careful with this. We'll probably be careful down through 72, uh, 72 bucks again and then try and rebuy it on the 70 handle. Um, but it's very interesting. Big day in crude. I don't know really, I don't really know why this happened. Um, usually this is not good for risk when you see a big day like that in crude. Um, are we going to see another weird, funny day? Uh, I don't know. Keep an eye on that, though. There's good volatility in crude right now. All right, I've said enough. There's actually nothing to say. Um, we'll take a look at this Swiss yen above 50, and maybe we'll sell some dollar yen um, on the 135 handle. But for now, we're standing down. <coughs> Books are square. Um, waiting for more of a... Uh, five-star type setup before we dive in. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. You deserve it.